Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire, where I'm going to be, again, trying a mystery sauce from Purple Ton Hot Sauces. So, let's give this a little pick up of the bag, and if you've been watching my videos, you know I've done two of them already. I've done the, where are they? The mango habanero one. And the cilantro lime one. Yeah, cilantro lime, not my thing. Mango one wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see which one I get this time. I'm not even going to look. So, this is what I'm having. And now I'll see what it is. This one is the honey garlic. It is a four pepper out of five. Let's see what this one happens to have in it. If I can read the ingredients. Well, it has won some awards. I will put them up here so you guys can uh, see. But it's a Carolina Reaper Ghost pepper, honey garlic sauce. And ingredients are honey, gluten-free soy sauce, Carolina Reaper and uh, Buchalokia peppers, garlic, ginger, I'm not sure that's tapioca flour, and it's organic. There's not a whole lot to this. <laughs> so she may be a bit spicy. A bit of static. I think this is the purple one, is it? Yes, okay. So, where is this here? The glass is back on again. So, it pairs well with coconut shrimp, chicken wings, southern fried chicken, tofu, pork chops, spare ribs, stir fried dumplings. And deep fried mozzarella sticks. Should have got myself some of those before I tried this. Uh, they are, again, Purple Ton Hot Sauces. They're based out of Ajax, Ontario. And they've been pretty good on their flavors. Mind you, like I said, the cilantro one wasn't my thing, but that's just me with cilantro. I like lime, but it's not cilantro. So give this a good old shake. Get out the old trusty spoon. And let's get ready to feel the heat. Ooh. That smells so good. It literally just smells like honey garlic. Not getting any heat off that at all. Mmm. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, a little bit of heat coming off more from the jar than from the lid. But I'm definitely getting honey uh, garlic. And it is a lot thicker. This is definitely more of what you would get on. Ooh, okay. Not as thick as I thought it was. So, fairly thick. Uh, definitely a nice deep. Mm. Nice deep brown color. <laughs> Got lost in uh, the aroma there. That smells so good. But I am expecting a little bit of heat since it is Reaper and Ghost. So, if it tastes like it smells, I'd say it's probably got to be up there, probably about a, a five or a six in taste. Not smelling the heat, so I'm going to put, say, my estimate on that, probably about a, a one or a two, but let's find out. <coughs> she kicks later. Oh. Oh, 
just gonna kick. <coughs> that honey garlic initial taste is it, it's right there. It's so good. And then all of a sudden it's like not even a hey, there's heat here, it's bam. Like it just hits you. <coughs> As you could tell. That is so good though. That's a kick in the pants. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. 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 <coughs> Super me, I'm licking my lips. Which is making them them tingle. I wasn't all on the taste. I'll put that at about a six. Heat wise, I was definitely wrong, Mom. I've had a lot hotter. Not recently. <laughs> but the heat. Like I said, it's such a kick. And it's present, it's not fading. So I'm going to put that for heat. Probably about a four, maybe a high four, low five in that neighborhood for me right now. You cannot smell the heat on it at all. So it definitely was a surprise, but it's not going away. It's it's a nice tingle. Ooh. That would definitely be something if you're ordering wings at a restaurant. That would probably be the equivalent of maybe their suicide wings. And uh, <clears throat> hit the nose. <clears throat> the heat level is dropping a bit. Tingle's still there. Taste has unfortunately disappeared. And then that didn't last quite as long as I'd hoped it would. But the taste, like the heat taste or feeling, whatever you want to refer to it as, is still, still taking that time to digress, which is nice. Sometimes that's what you want. Sometimes you want more flavor. <clears throat> But I would say if you're going to do like a honey garlic wing for yourself and you happen to have this sauce and you don't like super hot, but you like hot, I'd say a dab of this mixed in with just some normal honey garlic sauce would kick it up quite a bit for you. Then you'll get more of the honey garlic taste. Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I have any honey garlic. Give me one moment and I will go check. Well, I'm back. I don't have any honey garlic, so closest thing, not closest thing, but the only thing I could find was sweet and sour sauce. So I'll put a little bit down a little bit, see how that affects it. A little bit of a difference in the uh, flavorings, but So just some HP sweet and sour sauce, or VH, I should say. <clears throat> just a couple of drops. Let it sink in. It doesn't really look too appetizing with just the drops, and it kind of looks like a Egg yolk you wouldn't want to eat. <laughs> yeah, so just kind of a bit of a mix. Let's try this. Oh, 
Oh, she still still kicks. Oh wow. <coughs> Still packs a punch, even with just a couple drops of that. Whew. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I'm going to stick with my uh, high four for the heat on that one. So, yeah, that's the Purple Ton Hot Sauce, Honey Garlic, Carolina Reaper, and Ghost Pepper Sauce. <clears throat> Check out the website. The link below for their sample packages. Great way to test the sauces so you're not uh, ending up with too much if you don't like it or there's a good amount in here. These are what? Uh, 80 mil. So good little ch bit of uh, sauce there to play around with. Yeah, another good sauce. Definitely got heat so enjoy the heat. Stay spicy when you try this. And We'll see you next time with who knows what I'll try and what strange concoctions will end up in my mouth. However bad that's what you say. <laughs> see you next time. Gluten-free.